Hey everybody, Brian Bat here with eLearningFree.com. Today I got a great question about how to create a slide where the end user has to click in order to play the, uh, the slide, or in this case, they wanted to pause the entire course and wait for the end user to click a play button. So I'll show you how to do that, it's really easy. So I'm gonna create a new trigger. And for the action, I wanna choose under the more I want to do pause timeline and I want that to happen when the timeline starts. So what that's doing is as soon as the course starts, it's going to pause the timeline. It's a very straightforward. And then next thing I want to do is I want to add a trigger on this uh, play button to start the timeline. Uh, so whenever action. to resume timeline on the slide when user clicks on that picture. So click OK. So we'll preview the slide. So you can see here we are totally paused. Whenever I click on it, it'll start. So we'll go back here and we'll go into the player. And we'll enable that seek bar just so we can see it a little more clearly. So as you can see, the timeline has totally stopped or paused, and then we'll click on the button, and it's going to start up. So there you go. That's how you quickly and easily uh, create a little start screen that requires the end user to click on the play button in order to start the course.